What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. I'd shot about three minutes of this video and my camera fell over and so I'm not taking any more risks because I've got to get back to studying, but I want to make an update for the three days that uh, I have been studying Japanese trying to hit this 40 hours in a week. Um, first and foremost, uh, again, my goal at the beginning in order to make things achievable and attainable, I wanted 20 hours of active study and then the other 20 hours could come from uh, passive immersion and things of that nature. And so far, um, I will finish out today over 25 hours of Japanese going into my ears, which is pretty amazing because that means over a third of my last three days has been in Japanese. And if you take out the fact that I sleep, that means that even more has been just pure Japanese going into my ears. Um, I'll get into way more of this later on when I have more time to talk. Again, I'm trying to make this video just as an update and I want to get back to my immersion and stuff. But Basically, the way that that breaks down so far is uh, it'll be about 25 hours after today or a little over 25 hours and over 13 hours of that is active study. I've had 13 hours of actively studying stuff, whether it be a little bit of grammar reading or immersion or flashcards, and that has been fantastic. Now, again, at the end of this, I will break down my active immersion versus study. That way you can kind of see how much I'm immersing, but... It's going incredibly well so far. And so basically, I just want to touch on what I'm doing so far and how I'm making this work because I do have a full-time job. I have a family. I have a son. And obviously, I don't want to take away from time from them. Um, and the main point of this was to kind of see how much time I wasted. But again, let's let's get into it because I want to make this video quick. So first and foremost, um, I am fortunate enough to have a job where I can listen to... Uh, also, sorry for walking around. This may be distracting, but after my phone fell down, I... I I, I don't want to take a risk, so I'm just going to hold it. So this is going to be more like vloggy style. But um, basically the way that, that uh, what, what I do when I go to work is I use Nuke Marine's Trimsler. Um, I've done 15 Pimslers, and so he has the Trimsler, which is where it takes the English out of Pimsler. That way what you're listening to is fully comprehensible. You don't have the English explaining it because you've already went through the lesson, and it's fully comprehensible. And I listen to this. Basically, that is my passive immersion. I listen to this stuff on repeat. Now, I do listen to some other stuff as well, but for the most part, it come, my passive immersion comes from comprehensible input, which has actually helped a lot of things stick in my head, hearing stuff in context, and it's really starting to make me absorb the language versus like trying to translate it, at least in terms of what I'm listening to in Pimsleur. And that has worked really, really well. So, and again, I'm fortunate enough to work a job where I can have my headphones in. So it's not that big of a deal to get passive immersion. Now, when I go on lunch, usually I will listen to a Pimsleur, like a new Pimsleur on my way to like, I'll get a drink or something like that. I'll come back after Pimsleur finishes. I will usually jump into Anki and I will do, um, whatever I'm feeling, whether, whether it be RTK or I will do my Tongo uh, in five um, vocabulary. That kind of just depends on my mood. It, there's no rhyme or reason, really. It's just kind of whatever I feel like doing. Uh, and then I will go back to work. I'll put my headphones in, listen to a little bit more. Usually it's about three to four hours of passive immersion at work. Uh, I do have to get up a lot because I have to walk to the printer and do some other stuff and um, kind of all over the place from time to time, not often, but from time to time. So about four hours of immersion at work, which is pretty good in terms of passive immersion. Now, when I get off work, I come home. Um, sometimes I'll hit flashcards, but not really. You, I, I like to spend time with my son and that's, you know, just something that I'm never going to change. But when he goes to bed, um, I will usually do some sort of flashcards if I've not finished my flashcards for the day, depending on how lunch went, or I will jump straight into immersion. And that is until my wife, uh, if I have to put my son to bed, obviously I'm doing flashcards in there. But if my wife has put my son to bed, then I will stay out here and I will watch TV in Japanese until she gets out. Uh, we usually watch a TV show or two and then around about nine o'clock, um, I go straight into just actively immersing. Uh, so far, uh, today I'm doing YouTube videos. Uh, I'm watching Masuo Games play Animal Crossing, but I have been watching some Kansaro, the Sweet Tooth Salaryman, because that is a show that I really enjoy. And I have also been watching, I found an anime finally, for the love of God, that I find to be entertaining, and that is um, Psyche K. Uh, I'm not 100% sure of exactly what's going on. Uh, like, I've kind of picked up on some stuff, but not too, too much. But it's a show that I enjoy. I enjoy the bright colors. I enjoy... Uh, the way that the scenes are done, I enjoy the music in it, so it seems to be a pretty good fit, and I will probably continue watching that, um, you know, as it goes on. So, and then I will basically do that until I go to bed. Um, I have used Close Master a couple more times. Um, I actually am finding a little bit more enjoyment in Close Master recently. Um, I look up 
the words on a Japanese dictionary that I have on my phone, and I will add that to a flashcard deck on the app because the app has really, really good sound. And that way I can come up, like if I come across words that I don't really know very well in Close Master, I can simply look them up and I can actually flashcard those to kind of refresh what these specific words in these sentences mean. And I find that to be helpful. I don't do it a lot. I do Close Master 10, 15 minutes a day, sometimes a little bit more. And when I say sometimes, I mean, this is day three, but once I did it for about 30 minutes, the other two days I did it for 10 or 15, just honestly, usually about 10 sentences, which is what the like lessons are. It's, it's a 10 sentence increments. Um, you can set it higher, but I usually keep it at 10. And that seems to be working pretty well, just in terms of getting more Japanese and kanji in front of me and being able to recognize those. And honestly, it kind of helps instill some of the other kanji that I've learned so far. And I find that to be working pretty well. Uh, is there anything else I'm doing right now? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. I am doing my Boonpo. I usually do a lesson or two of Boonpo a day. I do my reviews because Boonpo does have built-in SRS for grammar, which I find to be really helpful. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so three days in, uh, it's 11.30 right now. Three days in, we are about 25 hours into study, which is awesome because that means I only have 15 hours left to hit my goal. Uh, and we're going to be over 13 hours of active study, which means I only have seven hours left to hit that. So I'm hoping that I go way past what I set my goal for. And uh, yeah, and like I said, uh, when I do the closing final video, final thoughts, I'm going to talk way more about this. Uh, we're already at seven minutes here. And I, like I said, uh, I wanted to make this short because I, I want to get as much time to study as possible. But uh, I'm going to get way into just about how I get into this and all the time that we waste when we don't think we have a whole lot of time because I have found a ton of time even if it's in little five minute chunks to get additional study in. So I hope you all are doing well. Should have said that at the beginning, but I hope you all are doing well. I hope your studies are going great. I hope whatever you're doing, your immersion, your however you study, however you learn, I don't care. I hope it's going great. And uh, yeah, follow me. I keep I do post uh, updates on Twitter and Instagram at Seabolt Speaks. So if you want to follow it along outside of the videos, feel free to do that. But uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.